Had there been one hand we raised that we didn't get 3 bets. We're gonna call here though, this is a really great prize we're getting with Jack9 suited. Uh, but what the hell? Flop we're gonna call once, um, I don't mind overfolding turn. Like if he continues here on the turn I'm just, I'm done with his hand. If he checks, uh, it's close between banning for value with a small sizing or checking. I think we can go for a small sizing. We can get value from pocket tens, ace king. Ace 10 maybe, wherever we just check, ace jack, okay, nah. obviously those hands are also going to be in there. Okay, pocket ki queens, let me guess, let me guess chat, is this going to be the first hand that people are not going to 3-bet this? Of course it is, of course it is. <laughs> uh, against recreational, we got, a f we got a lot of options here. I'm going to go for a check race against recreational. Definitely check raising here. Ah, the song. Mm. I love the song. Nice turn. Nice turn. How do we continue? Um, against recreational, I guess we go half pot and then get it in on the river. Yeah. Let's go 24. And queens on the right too. Ah, come on. We're too greedy. We're too greedy. Checking would have been fine against recreational. We always want to continue though. And now we get cold called with our three pets. <laughs> ah, god damn it! What is this shit? If this guy shoves, we're gonna overshove here. Enough that money in the pot to make this worth it. Interesting flop. They can definitely have hands like pocket jacks, pocket nines here, maybe even pocket sixes. We're still gonna bet small and see what develops here. While we drink our coffee. And while we keep tilting. Uh, I guess this guy we're never folding. Like yeah, if he has jacks, grats. If he has nines, grats. I guess recreation I'm never folding. He can easily do this with king jack, ace jack, heart. Hey, we can just get there, right? We can just get there. Nice. And then pocket kings, like it's one after the other. And three bet again. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, obviously we're loving the spots when we have kings. Easy four bet. Easy. Huh. Cold four bet for a big. Like, do we ever get away from this hand? Nah, we just shove right. How we're so deep. <sighs> Can we just call? I think we always shove here. I don't think we can get around this. If he has aces, so be it. So be it. Call with ace king. Call with ace king. Call with ace king. Don't slow roll me. Call with ace king. What? What? <laughs> oh, he hits a jack. Another jackie. Jackie on the river. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> okay, what a start of the day. Holy shit. I think we need to make a note on that guy. Uh, cold for bad 3x. King Jack suited. Call all in. 150 big blinds. Like, holy shit. Why, though? Why? <laughs> That's why we're not falling, kings. Well, we're n we were never falling, but we were definitely contemplating calling. <laughs> um, Queen 6 suit, we're gonna call. We're gonna start going for value on the left. We could even go bigger, I think. And wherever we're gonna check, probably check fold against most opponents. Um, queen six suited. We're gonna call flop, and turn. We're gonna check fold. Okay, wherever we're gonna check fold. Let's hope he checks down. Nice queen jack, something like that. Queen jack, a queen this again. Lots of queens today. And lots of people already, holy shit. How are you guys doing in chat? Hope you guys are enjoying this. Let's see. How many binds do we need? Um, On this flop, versus three recreationals, we're just gonna start piling in money in this, uh, on this flop. We wanna get value from sixes, eights, uh, sticky ace highs, gut shots, yeah, seven x. More than enough hands we can get value from. And yeah, from time to time somebody's gonna have a full house. From time to time somebody's gonna have a 5. Uh, on the jack, I'm actually gonna check. I think people are gonna overfold here on the jack. 
So it does make a lot of sense to bet here when we're basically starting to turn our hand into a bluff. And wherever we gotta go for value. Uh, let's go for a sizing that looks a bit bluffy. Like 46, I would say, looks a bit bluffy. We're trying to get hero calls by 7x here. Maybe pocket 6s, pocket 8s. Can hero call here. We can't really go uh, too big. Queens. <laughs> Who was that in the chat, by the way? The guy, uh, the Dutch guy, uh, when I had Queen Jack offsuit on the monotone board. Gonna call with the force. Hit a set. Who is this? Oh, I was just, I was, uh, yeah, I was just not here. I'm uh, gonna check raise with our force against recreational. Yeah, easy check raise. Let's hope he stays sticky with the king. With a pocket pair. Okay, we're gonna click it back here. That's how we play these hands. We just, if you click it back, we click it back. That's how we play it. <laughs> now we're gonna min bet. <laughs> and we're gonna call and face 10 jack suited. Hey, that's why we click it back. That's why we min bet. Hey, getting him doll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well played, mate. Well played with the t Jack Tan suited. Ah, see, like, okay, I'll, I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys. So, this guy might, this hand might have looked really, like, stupid, and it, it might have felt like I'm messing around. And in a, in a way, I'm messing a little bit around, but I'm doing this a lot, like, here when he does for the min race, he's basically or saying he has a king or a set, or pocket aces, or a random bluff, right? So whenever we click it back, if he, if he would have shoved, he has to fold his random jack-10 suited, right? If he click it back, he might think, hey, I'm getting a good prize, I think he's full of shit when he calls, so we give him an opportunity to shove as a bluff, or to float and do something stupid. Same on the turn, the ace should be good for him, if he, ha if he has a hand like ace-king, we're getting it in anyway. We don't have to get our value on this turn, right? We don't have to shove here or anything. We can just min bet, give him the opportunity to do something stupid when he has a hand like jack-10, right? So, again, it looks like we're messing around, it looks like a dumb play. We're never doing this versus a regular, obviously, against recreational. These kind of plays do work. That's why you guys drink so much alcohol, right? <laughs> Alright, a7 is just gonna be check fold. If he checks, maybe we can stab the turn. And on the 7, we get some showdown value. So let's try to get the showdown. Uh, bad river, obviously. But yeah, maybe we win here. Maybe win versus ace queen without a club or something. Ace queen without a club? Trees without a club. Okay. Oh okay, god, I'll take that. That makes sense. Someone's gonna get to five now. Yeah, I think it's it's purely because of you, Roadkill. Like every action you took today influenced my luck today. So thank you for that. I appreciate that, Roadkill. Y you're so nice to me. Um, the sizing is a little too big here. I would say normally I want to use very small sizings on the board like this, and we can continue on this turn. Expect him to overfold here massively. If he continues, we do have the ace out probably, and the five is definitely an out for us. Uh, on the six, we just give. Uh, when he checks so quickly, I really want to bluff this. I really want to bluff this. Uh, he checks so quickly. He checks so quickly. I'm gonna go with my gut here. I'm gonna go with my gut when he checks so quickly. Come on, fold. Don't call with your 10. He has jack 10, probably. Sevens! <laughs> okay, I'm not bluffing anymore. Fuck, I, I I, knew it was a good spot to bluff, but yeah. Like, ah, fucking hell. Not against that guy. <laughs> We're dunking it off again. We're dunking it off. God damn it. <laughs> ah, let me make a note that this guy is stationy. Ah, it's actually a station, like, he should never call there with sevens. <laughs> That's, but, uh, well, against me he shoots, right? Maybe he knows something, I don't know. Fuck, we're getting too confident, we're getting too confident. <laughs> we're expecting people to fold at 2NL, like, how how dumb can I be? 
People don't fold, Peter. People don't fold. You should know better. Uh, here on turn, we're gonna continue. Um, hmm, I actually think people overfold this flop, so I would only continue with a with a heart here. Yeah, I'm gonna give up. I think I think people really overfold this flop out of position. So when he does continue, I do think he's gonna have a stronger range than on average. And even though we have good blockers, we we'll block king queen, we we'll block ace, uh, king. Uh, I still don't feel too comfortable. Uh, uh, I would I would call the pot size there with ace high against an over bet. I I'm going to fold. Don't forget we got a lot of better hands there. Flop two pair on a wet ish board. I'm gonna raise. Expect a lot of folds, but still doesn't gonna stop me from raising for value here. Uh, this turn doesn't really change a lot unless he has like eight six suited, which he can definitely have. If he had the straight, he still has the straight. Um, if he has a hand like 6-7 or 6-5 or 4-5, he's still continuing. River, I think people are gonna overfold. So now it becomes interesting. I think I guess I wanna check all this. Yeah, I think I'm just not gonna get a lot of value here. So I do wanna give an opportunity if he had a missed straight or a missed god shot to turn it into bluff. Um, yeah, like, is he really calling with king 3? Maybe. Maybe this guy is. Maybe... Maybe against him I should have. Pocket eights. Let's see if we see a flop here. All right. Uh, on this flop, uh, we're gonna go for check call to start it off. Uh, betting is fine against the sizing easy check call. Turn we're probably gonna have to check call. Depends on the sizing, yep. And river, if he goes for a huge sizing, we just fold. Against a small sizing, it's a really ugly spot. Yeah, obviously easy fold now. Check suited, um, eight seven suited against this sizing, we're folding. Eight jack, um, against this guy, we're gonna three bet, make it eighteen cents dealer. Against four bet, we just fold. If he folds or calls, both are fine for me. King Queen 5, interesting board. It's gonna hit both of our ranges. Um, this isn't the greatest hand. It's still fine to go for a, a small um, continuing bet. We still got the God Shot. We block Ace King, Ace Queen. We block King Jack, Queen Jack. Uh, there's not a lot of combination of Queen Jack. So if he happens to have hands like 10s, 9s here, he's already gonna start getting in a tough spot here. Uh, and even against this continuing range, we do have some equity, so we can still see bet there. And we don't have to go too big in position in the 3-bet pot, even when it's pretty wet. Uh, we do want to check our flushes versus a guy like that. Um, yeah, uh, we do want to get a bit sticky probably against him too. Gonna 3-bet pocket 8, and uh, we're gonna open 10-9 offsuit here. Check calling flop. Uh, it's a great flop for a range with our hand though, it's not great. Pocket 8, we're gonna stri try to start going to showdown here on a board like this where you can easily have a lot of king x, jack x, gut shots, uh, uh, op uh, uh, straight draws. 10-9, probably check folding now on this turn, it's just a horrible turn. 8, yeah, we keep trying to get to showdown, nice river, nice river. Uh, Ugh. This is suspicious, right? Uh, I'm I'm folding here, but still, he checks turns, so I expect him to mo mainly bet his king x jack x on the turn. Like, how many nine x does he have here? Not a lot when we block nine eight suited. Can we hero call this? I guess he can still have hands like pocket tens, right? Or yeah, yeah. I'm I'm folding there, but I'm very suspicious. His line does make a lot of sense. Maybe I should have called here. It's normally in my three betting range, uh, but against recreational, I'm just folding it. Don't think there's a lot of value in there. Yeah, calling is fine for sure. Queens, uh, 
King knight 7 it's definitely not a board we're gonna bet our whole range on, so queens can start being in our checking range. Really good hand to check, and then on the turn call and on the river call. Even if the turn is a spade, we can easily call and probably here call river. Um, ace isn't great, we're just gonna try to get the showdown against deuces. Okay. Can queen off suit, we're gonna be 3 betting. And opening up king 8 suited. Um, yeah, we're not gonna go for a cold 4 bet first a guy that hasn't played a lot of hands. Nice flop. Easy run good on the stream, right? Easy run good. Ah, oh, and the donk. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna call <laughs> and hit hit the fucking best card in the deck. His flush improves and I get a full house. Yeah, we're just calling. Can we raise here? Yeah, I think we can raise, right? Can we raise? I think we need to start putting money in the spot if we want to, if we want to get it all by the river. And here we just shove. Yeah. Let's make it easy for him to calculate the pot here. But we're always shoving. Ah, unlucky. Unlucky. 10 9 offsuit. We're gonna peel if we get this price. Yeah, 2 cents to win 16 cents. So we gotta win this hand 1 and 8 times. Should be fine, right? Against so many people. Uh, fives, we should actually look a little bit at the table before opening this, but yeah, three recreationals, it's always gonna be a good idea. Here against the donk, I think we, uh, what do we do, do we just call a raise? Like if, if the, if somebody see that here, I would contemplating raising, but now, I don't love it. Fives, we're gonna check call. Nice turn with the 10-9, nice turn. Fives, yeah, trying to get to showdown. And still trying to get the showdown. Let's tank a little bit, not make it too easy for our opponent. And check. And then here, but our straight. Uh, the plan is raising or just calling. I think we can raise. Uh, he can easily still call. Let's give him good price to still call with a pair and a gut shot. Uh, two pairs, obviously. So let's make it 30. Not too big. Not too small either, obviously. Start. Generally, if you have a good hand, yeah, this is 10-9, right? Wow, he just shoves top two. Holy shit, good luck, mate. Unlucky. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> How do you shove top two there? Wow. I, I thought that we were just going to be up against the same hand. <laughs> oh, maybe we can uh, win a nice pot here with aces. <laughs> two and a half. Oh, nice, the four X. We're already loving it. We're already loving it. Gonna make it 22. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Look at this flop. <laughs> Do we just check? I think we just check, right? This is just a board. We can't. We can't. Nah. We can't do this. We can't do this. Give him an opportunity to start bluffing. Yeah, or overvalue a certain hand. Easy call. And then wherever we shove. Yeah, even on this river. If he has pocket 5, so be it. I'm always shoving here. I'm always shoving here. Yeah, if he has po again, if he has pocket 5s or 5-4 five, suited, well played, mate. Nice. We gave him an opportunity to bluff. He was probably bluffing if he falls there that quickly. 3-betting uh, ace-queen. What's What do we have here? Okay, this guy seems uh, a normal player. This is board we can actually go a little bit bigger. Uh, we're gonna start doing a lot of checking and when we do bet out of position in 3 bet bots we're gonna go slightly bigger. So normally where we would go for a lot of uh, one third bets here we can go bigger. Turn, he's easily gonna continue with 10 jacks. Weaker queen x. So yeah, just gonna keep betting. Gonna keep betting. And River is a really bad card, right? He's gonna have so many hands like 10-9, uh, pocket 10s, pocket jacks, queen jack, uh, queen 10. Uh, we just check fault this. Oh, what a horrible River. Check with king queen. Check your king queen. Check your king queen. Come on, dude. Just check your. God damn it. Oh, uh, oh fuck. I didn't see this guy stack. Uh, I guess if he shoves, we just got it in, right? Um. I, th I still think this is fine. Yeah, even against the stack, I think this is fine. 
like the thing we want to avoid now is that this guy calls and this guy shoves and then we're gonna be in a tough spot right uh, like if this guy four bats we always just fold um, yeah so this guy four, uh, shoves yeah we're we got a call 26 to win uh, 91, so we got to win this hand like 30% of the time, which we should. Like we got 41%, so this is just a very massive plus if we call, especially if we hit the queen, another queen, <laughs> and basically give up unless we have some added equity. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong screen. So yeah, still at 95.5. Uh, here with 10-8, which is just check calling. Thanks, Plastic Plank, for sharing that graph. Um, on this turn, we can actually start value betting. He's gonna have some 9x he he uh, checks, but I'm not too worried. And uh, we're gonna check call the river. He's gonna have a lot of king queens, uh, queen jacks. Um, yeah, I'm never folding here. A7, how do you check? God damn it. <laughs> yeah, damn it. We got the mojo. Oh, okay, okay. I, I can I can deal with that. I can take that as a compliment. Can I also have this goal? I would love to have this goal. Come on. Damn. I need to I need to wear my other jacket, I think. Wow, well, this jacket is good enough, right? This is Austin Powers enough. <laughs> I should do I should do an Austin Powers uh uh Twitch.tv slash value heavy. Come check it out. Come check race here on the turn. That's the small sizing. And river. Um his his trade gets there. I'm still gonna go greedy for value. I can easily still call with King Nine. Um Ace queen that gets sticky or something. I don't want to be bluffed on stream. You're not getting bluffed. Ah, I was gonna say him that I had it. I had the goods. <laughs> um, queen jack. We're gonna go for a big c bet. What did they have there? Queen jack. Yeah. Yeah. You block the straight. You unblock the flush. Draw. I don't. I. I understand. Uh, turn we're gonna give up with our queen jack. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna go for double barrel and then give up. Uh, the nice thing here with uh, queen jack is that we block king queen, we block king jack. So there's gonna be a lot less hands that can continue on the turn than um, if he didn't have those blockers, right? There's gonna be a lot less uh, combinations of hands that can call us. So when we have a hand like queen jack, we can definitely continue. Uh, if you have hand like 9-8 or something, it's a lot worse to continue there. Let's see, let's... Um, when did we start streaming? Like the 20th of October or something? Yeah, it seems right, right. Look at this. Uh, yeah, let, let's first play some hands, right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna set up next big blind and actually gonna go over some small Twitch statistics and then also over... Uh, we're gonna easily call here against the race. We're gonna call the turn, even though yeah, he can definitely min race with the six there. We're gonna tank a little bit and then call. And River, we're probably gonna have to call him unless he makes it super expensive. Yeah, easy call. Wow, checks. <laughs> okay, dude, take it. I guess we lost uh, the minimum there. Could have lost more for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. I guess we always have outs unless it's exactly ace king. And I guess he can sometimes do it with worse. Um Queen Jack 5. Uh we have two overs and a gut shot, but this board is gonna hit him too much here. So we can mainly or go for a small C bet or give up. I'm just gonna give up here. If we had a uh, club, I would continue. I would C bet I mean. Without the club, this hand just doesn't perform too great. Against min bet, we still call, obviously. Uh, let's hope he min bets again. Yeah, easy call. And river, we get there. Uh, do we dunk here? Yeah, let's dunk. 
I think he's gonna check behind way too often. On the right in the meantime, easy call on the turn if he bets. If he checks, we just check behind. No reason to turn this into bluff in my opinion. Okay dude, what you gonna do? Should we have overbet this? Maybe we should have dunk overbet. So what does he have? Two pair? No, one pair. One pair. Wow, station. King 10 suited against a pretty aggressive opponent who makes it really interesting for us to call here. Gives us a great price. We're gonna call. Nice open ender. What's gonna happen, chat? You know what's gonna come on the turn, right? It's gonna be the ace. The ace of clubs. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> turn. Depends on the sizing, what we do. Once he checks, we got a bet, right? Let's go for small sizing and, and bet big on the river. I don't know if this works at these stakes, but bet small, bet big river is my plan. And we're trying to get him off a jack of ace king. And if he wants to call, so be it. So be it. Nice. We're bluffing even at 2NL. Nice. <laughs> Look at us, look at us, bluffing on 2NL and getting it through. Nice! Ace 10 is a call, nice flop. Against small sizing we ace, against big sizing we just call. Uh, here we get 3 bets uh, for really big sizing. I'm just gonna call here. Nice flop! Look at this flop! <laughs> okay, uh, on the left he continues, we're gonna call once more and then well, call the river. Here, uh, we're just gonna race. Like, I'm not gonna even gonna bother trying to slow play this hand. When he can easily have hands like Queen, Jack, Stance, King, Queen. He's gonna have a lot of hands that can continue versus a race like this. Let's see. If he shoves, it's probably Ace, King, right? But yeah. <laughs> like, isn't this always Ace, King? Do we just shove for value? We just shove against queens, kings, aces. I think we call and then shove the turn. Or make him shove the turn. This has to be ace king if he shoves right. Who knows? What's this? Um how do we play this? Do we just shove? I'm gonna shove here for value. I'm expecting not a lot of faults. Whoa, 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 what? What? We made it, boys! What the hell was that hand? What the hell was this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a hand to end. This, this 2NL, 2NL fucking... What the fuck was this? <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit this guy. Thank you so much Alexis from Russia. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to finally go to 5NL. Finally. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. That's run good. That's nice. Hey cheers boys. Let's party. <laughs>